can we make these in less than five minutes? So the first thing that we will need is a text or a fusion composition. So let's drag a text. Here we are going to write our text and we're going to change the font to something that you like. OK, that's enough for the text customization because that's not the main point of this video. I'm going to increase the size of these just so that you can see it properly. All right. First thing we're going to need is we're going to copy these three times. This is going to be text two and this is going to be text three. If you want, you can rename these notes just to text two right here. Well, this one has to be first and then two right there. Press F2 with it selected so that you can rename this. Press Ctrl and Spacebar and add a dissolve node. We're going to be using these twice like that. OK, now we're going to press two on this dissolve node and we're going to make sure that this is set at zero so that we can see the first text. On this text, we're going to press Ctrl Spacebar and a transform node. If you want, you can do this all inside the text node right here with the transform sections right here. But I prefer to use an actual transform node. At the frame zero, we're going to create a first keyframe and it's going to be coming from the bottom. You can press Ctrl G if you want to see the guides. Then I'm going to go to frame 12 and I'm going to set this up to 0.5. Now, this doesn't look that great, but don't worry, it will look better in a little bit. We're going to leave 12 frames in between the intro and the outro for the next text to come in. So in frame 24, I'm going to create another keyframe. And in this case, I can move these to the side. But first, I'm going to go 12 frames ahead again. I'm going to move these to the left like that. So that's what the animation looks like for now. I'm going to copy these and then hold and shift. I'm going to connect these to the next one. We can press two on this transform node for now so that we can change the animation. And we're going to get rid of these first two keyframes. This one should be right here at 0.5. And the initial position for this one should be from the right side. This one is going to come in from the side. If I showed you at 0.5 right here, you will see both animations at the same time. That's basically what it looks like. OK, now that we have both of those animations, what we can do is go to the middle point between these. And that's going to be 24 plus 6. And I'm going to create a keyframe for the dissolve node to be at 1. Press open bracket and go one frame backwards. And I'm going to set these to 0. Now, when that outro animation of the first text goes out, that's what will happen. OK, let's do that one more time, but for this text template 3. But before that, we need to set up the outro for this one. We're going to do 12 frames, create a keyframe, and then plus 12 again. And then we're going to go to the other side. Now we can copy these and paste these right here. Get rid of those first two. And in here, we're going to start from this side. You can press two so that you can see it on screen. And then here, this should end at 0.5 right in the center. Again, we're going to go to the middle point. So plus six right here. And I'm going to create a keyframe here at one. Go backwards and out zero. OK, we can now go 12 frames ahead again, and then we're going to create the outro for this one. So we're going to go from here and it's going to go upwards like that. Now, in this case, we're not going to create another dissolve node to go back into the beginning because we can just cut these in the edit page if we want to do that. Right now that we have everything, the magic happens when you select all of these. And you don't necessarily have to choose or select the dissolve nodes. I'm going to make this go a little bit higher, select all tools. I'm going to press Ctrl A first of all, just to make sure that I select everything. Press F and now press T and adjust the ease in and ease out of these. Now, if you want, you can add motion blur to these. So just got to go here and adjust these however you want. Now, let's create the background so that we have the different color again. In this case, we can just copy these dissolve nodes, add an instance of these so that we have the same keyframes. I'm going to add another transform node right here and these as well. I'm going to connect these and I'm going to press Ctrl T so that we have the backgrounds being the actual backwards. We can start these at text at like a black screen and then we can change these to be maybe grayish. But then we have to change the color of the second text to be a darker color so that we can actually see what's happening. In order to know how or where to cut these at the end, we're going to have to select here the last keyframe first 84. I'm not going to make this shorter for the loop to properly work. Go six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to make this shorter like this. We're going to go to the end and then make one, two, three, four, five, six frames shorter. Now, if I copy these, we have that. 
and the animation continues to do so. Now, if you do have different colors on each background, then the, the other loop will be more noticeable. But that's it for this title effect or animation. Now, if you want a more in-depth tutorial, make sure to watch the video that I will link in the description.